rules of order. Late arriving, early leaving, a person must be present to participate. Those arriving late or leaving early may, may only take part in the caucus business or occurring while they are present. Proxy voting. No proxy voting shall be permitted at the caucus. Nominations. Nominations will be taken for one office at a time. The nominator may speak for a maximum of three minutes. One seconding speech will be permitted per candidate and not to exceed two minutes in length. When all nominations from the floor have been received, the nominations will be closed. Each candidate may then address the caucus, each for not more than five minutes. The, the chair can call for additional comments if so stated in the announced rules. Only related to the candidates will the comments be taken. The vote will then take place. Note, when there is more than one position for the same office, example, councilmen, each will be handled individually. So, and we selected our voting option, it's option three. All votes will be taken by calling for a show of hands for all in favor, all opposed. If the vote cannot be easily determined, the chair may ask voters to rise and be counted. However, should a single request be made for votes to be taken by paper ballot, it must be done. A majority vote is required to win the nomination when there is a single nominee, uncontested, so to speak. The highest vote will win the nomination when there are multiple nominees. Okay, with that, we'll get right into the... Uh, and there are 90 people signed in present. Okay, uh, the nominations for voting will now begin. Uh, we'd like to have a nomination for the seat presently held by Tom Miller. Yes, Mr. Chairman, Tim Curry, 53 Windsor. Mr. Chairman, it's my high honor to nominate my friend Thomas C. Miller for Councilman of the Town Board. I've known Tom for nearly four years. He and his wife Tracy are close personal friends of my wife Emily and I, and we've known his son Joshua, a sophomore at Clarkson University, since he was a baby. Tom is a well-respected member of our community. He served his community in various capacities over the years, including as a youth sports coach, a volunteer fireman, and currently serves as the fire chief here in Messina. Tom has more than 25 years of service as a correctional officer for the state of New York. Anyone that knows Tom will tell you that he's committed to his community and that he's worked hard to make Messina a better place. As a person, Tom is loyal, passionate, devoted, and caring. In every endeavor I have ever seen him involved in, he has always taken it seriously, worked hard to do a good job, and has always made a difference by doing what was right. His judgment, his sound, and his principles are unwavering. As a member of the Mesita Town Council, he will work diligently to represent all of our citizens, to ensure their voices are heard, and when he makes a decision, it will be in the best interest of Mesita. He will be a valuable part of a solid team we already have in place on the town board. Mr. Chairman, Fellow Democrats, I urge you to support this nomination of my good friend, a person that we can trust, a person that will work for all of us. Tom Miller. Do we have a second? I, Josh Miller of 11 K Street, second to period of nomination. We'll actually vote on that. All in favor? for that seat. That position, nomination is closed. The second nomination is for a four-year term presently held by Albert McCola. Do we have a nomination? Charlie Boots, uh, 26 Ranson Avenue, uh, in Messina. Albert McCola has and is a lifetime resident of Messina. Graduate of Messina High School and the Pennsylvania Military College. He also has a degree, a master's degree, excuse me, from SUNY Potsdam. He was commissioned an officer in the U.S. Army and served three years. After military service, he returned to Messina and worked as a teacher and a coach at Messina Central. He retired from teaching in 2001 and from coaching in 2007. 
He has served two terms on the Village Board of Messina and six terms on the uh, Messina Town Board. That should come to about, uh, if I'm correct, 26 years of service to the village and town of Messina. Excuse me, 28. <laughs> <laughs> I stand correct. I stand correct. <laughs> That's why we invited him tonight. He's also a long-standing <coughs> member of the Italian American Civil Association. He's a member of the American Legion, Post 79, and the Messina Country Club. His wife is Yvonne and his daughter Diane. I've known Albert since I was a teen and maybe even earlier than that, and they used to attack me as I delivered my newspapers over here on uh, A Street. He and Leo La and Joey Trimble. They had an L shaped uh, ambush. ambush, right? <laughs> See, that's why he went to the military academy. He was, he was doing it before <coughs> he got there. Um, like I said, I've known him since then. He's been a longtime friend. Longtime advocate for the betterment of the scene, and I sincerely uh, endorse him for the position of councilman in this next election. Do we have a second? Are there other, any other nominations from the floor for that seat? With that, please vote. nomination from the floor. I'd like to nominate Sam Carbone Jr. of 2130. Um, Sam, son of Sam Sr. and Nancy Carbone, was one of nine children born and raised in Messina. He has lived his entire life in Messina. Sam's father was a permanent fire truck driver here locally in Messina, and his mother worked for the Messina Central School District in the cafeteria. Sam is a graduate of Messina Central High School in 19. And then went to SUNY Canton and cross enrolled in St. Lawrence University in the ROTC program. He then enlisted in the U.S. Army Reserves in 1983 with an honorable discharge in 1988 under the rank of second lieutenant. In 1989, Sam was hired by the New York State Department of Corrections as a corrections officer. After six months as a CO, he was hired by the New York Power Authority as a security guard. From there, he went into mechanical maintenance apprenticeship and is currently with NYPO for the past 24 years. For the past 10 years, he has been licensed real estate agent for Pulse Realty and has owned numerous re rental properties himself. For the past 15 years, Sam has served as a volunteer fireman for Messina and is currently an exempt member. He also served on the Messina Housing Board for six years and has served on the Planning Board and Zoning Board for Messina also. Sam, also a union member with IBW 2032, has served as a reporting and financial secretary. He has served on the St. Lawrence, Lewis, and Jefferson County Central Trades Labor Council for almost two decades. His current position is as an executive board member and capacity trustee. Um, I actually work, at, I'll put this down, I actually work with Sam at the Power Authority. And um, when I first addressed um, Sam doing this and allowing me to nominate, he expressed an extreme interest and told me that um, he's actually had an, an interest for the past 10 years. Um, but with the businesses that he's been involved with um, and with the power authority and all the overtime, he just didn't know at that point in time if he had the, the actual wholehearted time to put into it. Everything is slowing down right now for him in, in this point in time in his life and he is was ecstatic about um, contributing his time to this board. I know Sam is being very motivated, very energetic, um, a great businessman. Um, I think he would do a great job um, and be a great contribution to this board, um, just from the business sense and also for the drive that I think that he has from the scene and the people. So best of luck to you, Sam, and I hope I did you proud. Do we have a second? Second. Robert Cunningham is the second. Do we have any other nominations from the floor? With that, we'll close, and I'll have a... I'd like to know the reason why Chuck Gray got his real ring in just one. Absolutely. I retired. Very good. <laughs>
still face problems. We still face problems. One of the biggest problems being that of the hospital. But I think the, the two most important things that I've learned in public office, two things. How to listen. No email ever goes unread. No phone call ever goes unanswered. And no question I get a lot of them. We all get a lot of them. Bobby, when you run the board, goes unanswered. They, they might not like the answer that they get, but I think you need to show them the respect that they do, that, that's due them when they ask the question. We can't solve everything. The government can't solve everything. But we can try. And I think the two most valuable things beyond that, the one most valuable thing beyond that is consensus building. How do you build consensus? Treat people with respect. Treat them with respect. They're your constituents. Okay, that's, that's one of the keys. The other being, I've always believed in my public service, find a way to make people part of the solution, not part of the problem. Get them to buy in, because your consensus building and that's, I pledge to you, that's, that's what will continue as long as I'm a member of this board. And we'll solve these problems and we'll go on and we'll be a better receiver.
phone friends. I really don't need to have a speech to go by. And uh, I appreciate everybody coming out tonight, all the uh, uh, my Democratic friends, my family, my wife's here today. Um, it's great to be here. I know there is a lot of issues uh, uh, with Messina. Messina is almost, to me, the town board is a corporation between Messina Electric, the hospital. We've got more than any other community would have to, to work with. And uh, there are issues. I'm, you know, the town board has done a great job working through them. I want to be part of the team. I can't speak. My coach can. After 28 years of service, hopefully I can speak, you know, like he can after uh, after some time. But I uh, appreciate your support. Uh, glad to be here and glad to be uh, on the board. Thank you. challenges that the, the town board has seen over the years. Uh, I enjoy it.